Hey, we got a special treat for you today. It is a Thunderhawk. Many have dreamed, many have longed, many have yearned for the Thunderhawk, but uh, I've never seen one done before until now. So I really have to take a bow and give due credit to the wonderful uh, staff here at Blue Table Painting who made this a uh, reality. Uh, the turnaround time on this was about three weeks. And here's what we have. Everything's magnetized that can be magnetized. These things move up and down. Uh, they're sufficiently stiff that they didn't need to be pinned or anything. These things actually come off uh, for transport. We've got uh, both of the main weapons. Uh, turbo Laser Destructor, I think that's what this one's called. I'm not sure what this is. Maybe someone can enlighten us. And so also this uh, front cockpit window thing comes off so you can see the two guys inside there still picks to follow oh believe me there's going to be plenty of still picks and this is magnetized on there also the interior of this windshield has uh, been painted with um, little uh, display panel thingamajiggers uh, what else? These uh, missiles are one shot each, and they, they are all magnetized. So as you use them, you know it's good when it makes you make a sound. And let me tell you, when I see this, I can hear the roar of the engines as it rockets over the desert sands. Crazy land. And we'll get to the base in just a minute. Um, we decided... Uh, painting the interior, that's a little tougher because... There's no way to magnetize it so you can take it off and actually see what's in there. Also, there's less of an interior than you might think. It's only this uh, small tank-sized front area, to my knowledge. Um, so what we did, let's go ahead and come in for a landing. You know what? I'm just going to do what everybody wishes they could do right now. Oh, boy. <laughs> My Thunderhawk. <laughs> Wherever we go, everyone knows it's me and my Thunderhawk. Mmm, Thunderhawk. You're so beautiful. Okay, so. <laughs> I should do a clip of like <laughs> getting tucked in at night, and on the other pillow there's the Thunderhawk. Good night, Thunderhawk. You'll keep me safe at night. <laughs> oh, my. Uh, <laughs> seriously. After that little adventure. Okie dokie. So what we did is we created this little, this hatch opens. We created a landing party. We painted it in the chapter colors of this uh, client where this thing comes out. Isn't that neat? So you got a guy with an all specs and a little guy kneeling and taking up firing positions. There's no shoulder pads because they're supposed to be like the uh, the flight crew, which we saw earlier. So those uh, stay in there pretty pretty snugly. And uh, all right, hey, uh, let's talk about the base, the least exciting part, although certainly no less evocative. This is an old Chaos Rhino. You can tell because not only of the coloration, but there's a faded Chaos symbol on it, and, and also a uh, Cahorn Berserker who's been uh, shot through the eye, and he's been there a while. He's been uh, crustified. And I just, I gotta say that uh, the base really brings this piece to life. Uh, it measures, uh, I'd say, about 12 or 14 inches uh, in length and it's supposed to be like this little sand dune. And uh, we also put in some foliage. I don't know if you can see it, but there's some foliage on the interior there, which uh, adds to the narrative of, this rhino's been sitting out in the desert for a while now. So very evocative piece. I'm completely pleased with how it turned out, and I really hope, uh, hope, you, uh, hope you enjoyed.